In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the if statement in Java. So I'm going to create a new class here for my project called if statements. So I'll do it from scratch here. Go back in here and let's highlight everything and delete it. Start from scratch. Public class if statements. D3. And class. I always comment the second curly brace to end curly brace. Uh, public static void main. Of course, we need this string args two three and method main. Okay. So in this program, I'm going to create an integer and I'm going to test to see if its value is greater than uh, another value. So I'll say int cash on hand. I'll say I have 100 bucks. Uh, I'm going to say if cash on hand is greater than 50, 1, 2, 3, and if, again, I'm always commenting the second curly brace, and now you can kind of see the uh, levels of indentation, one for the if, a pair for the if, a pair for the actual main method, and a pair for the class. Um, and I'll say, if I, this is not a print line, So the way this works is as follows. Cash on hand is an integer. It has a value of 100. So I, I'll say to myself, OK, is 100 greater than 50? Is that a true or false statement? 100 is greater than 50, so that's true. If this, what's in the parentheses, is true, which we call a Boolean statement, a statement that can either be true or false, uh, if it's true, then I'll execute whatever is in the curly braces. Here I have one line, but it can be very complex and be two or three or many lines. Um, so right now this is true, so this should print. So I'm going to compile, close, and it prints. And if I go in here and I change this to 500, is 100 greater than 500? That would be a false statement, so this should not execute. Compile. And nothing happens, which is correct because this was false. This line inside the curly braces did not execute, and there's nothing else afterwards. There is a little thing you can add to an if statement, an else statement, one, two, three, that can say if the first part's not true, then we'll do the second. Uh, System dot out dot print line. Sorry, not in the money. And let's compile it and close it. And so the second statement executed. So um, in this series of steps here, it'll say, if this is true, I'll do this. Else, I'll do the following. Just kind of like in English, you would have the same type of uh, uh, logic there. I used a greater than sign. So that's a greater than sign. But you can also use the less than sign. You can use greater than or equal to, which is simply putting an equal sign. I can use a less than or equal to sign. I can use a equal to see if it's exactly equal. And notice how I use two equal signs here as opposed to one here. When I assign a number to a variable, this is called an assignment operator. When I do a comparison, I use two equal signs. Okay, just keep in the back of your head. And then finally, not equal to. I can see if something is not equal to something. And these are the Boolean operators, is what they're called. Boolean operators. So you can form different types of logic uh, with that. So that's an example of the if statement, along with the uh, else uh, component of it. In the next video, I'll talk about how to compare things like strings or uh, objects.